how you can understand the mercy of Ramadan or the end times of Allah. How can you understand Allah's mercy? Seems like a simple question, but it's a very deep question, very wide question. And it's also a very impossible question. Who are the, you mentioned the Ahli Shukr in your dua. I don't hear that too much. I pay attention, you know, to what you guys say. <laughs> the real Ahli Shukr, they are the prophets, you know, they are the saints. They are thankful, they are understanding how impossible the mercy of Allah is. And the mercy of Allah that is covering everything. That's so why we began this by saying, La ilaha illa anta subhanahu in kuntum mina zalimin. We began with Zoom, yes? A Zoom is the complete opposite of someone who is merciful. You're asking how you can understand the mercy of Allah. A couple of questions I'm going to ask you. Why you want to understand the mercy of Allah? Then, if you understand the mercy of Allah, what are you going to do with it? You understand? Eh? Then what? No one is really asking this. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to go here. I want to go there. I want to learn this. I want to understand this. Why? And once you have that, what are you going to do with it? So many get stuck there. Or they say, why not? To get closer to Allah? What is your understanding of getting closer to Allah? Hmm. So if we are not understanding zulm, we cannot understand mercy. That time you're going to think that anything bad that happens to you is zalim, is wrong, and everything good that is happening to you is merciful. You misunderstand. Allah is saying, maybe what you think is good, what you wish for, it is bad for you. Then there is a category of people, then they understand. It's not only something that is good, something that is bad is also a mercy from Allah. Yeah, where are we? Anything bad that happens to us, we complain. We don't like. We don't look for the mercy that is behind it. Is anything that Allah has created, it is free from mercy, devoid of mercy. Everything is because of the name of Rahman and Rahim. This is knowledge now when you are entering deep to understand where is the mercy there. The secrets of that mercy, not something that is open. The lowest level, I want something, I get it, Allah is merciful. I want something, I don't get it, why Allah is doing this? Astaghfirullah. Now the people of Haq and the people of Shukr, they even say to question Allah. That is not a very good sign. Yeah. We don't want to place people, we don't want to put shariat on people like that to say that is gunah, that is sin, that is wrong, that is kufur. No, this is the way of tariqah. Now everyone has forgotten all those adab. Any opportunity, they want to push people to the hellfire. Ahli Sunnah has become that, Ahli Tariqat has become that. Any opportunity you want to say this is kufr, this is bidah, this is haram, this is shirk. We have become like our enemies. Why? Because you don't look for the enemy that is inside of you. And you're not watching out. Then you become your enemy. Because you don't take lesson. So to look into that, to look for the mercy of Allah, then there are those who say, the higher level ones, anything that happens, because it happens, there is a mercy. Uh, those are the prophets. 
Now those are the things. Anything that happens, there is a mercy that is there. It's happening because there is a mercy. There's nothing that doesn't happen when there is no mercy. So what we understand by mercy also is not just what we want, what is good. What is good today may not be good one year later or one lifetime later. What is good in this world may not be good for what is in the next world. So understanding this now, the mercy of Allah and Allah in Surah Al-Rahman is saying wherever uh, is the mercy of Allah, favors of Allah that you can deny. Allah listing in every uh, beautiful category. So, La ilaha illa anta subhanahu in kuntu mina zalimin. La ilaha illa anta. It is very interesting because Allah is putting uh, inspiration to that prophet Yunus in the belly of the whale how to say La ilaha illa Allah. Is saying, La ilaha illa anta, you. Directly saying, Anta. Who is something else? Allah is something else. So you're saying, La ilaha illa anta. Why is that? Because, yes, in that seclusion, then you understand it is only you. And you're facing your Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illa anta inni. I am. One of those who wrong myself, who make zulm to myself. So understand when you make zulm to yourself, you're completely separated from Allah. Completely separated from Allah. But when you understand that you make the zulm, you are very close to Allah. When you understand that you are a zalim, you are very close to Allah. Because you understand that He is merciful. Not you. Not you. As our Grasha says, because it happened to you, there is a blessing. Because it happens. You cannot learn this from books. You cannot learn this through just sitting and thinking by yourself. Too. You must be with the people of Haq. You must be with the people of Shukur. You must be with the prophets or the representatives of the prophets. You must watch, you must observe in every situation as much as you can. Where is this shukr to say, this happened, Ya Rabbi, Alhamdulillah. This happened, all praises to you. So there is a secret behind everything that has happened, that is happening, that will happen to you. To understand that secret, that will bring us Closer to Allah, meaning that will bring us closer to understanding Allah's oneness, closer to understanding Allah's power and His mercy. This is what we want. And understanding Allah, in that way we understand how we are so far away, so very far away from Allah. And that time, you're going to look ev at everything, not only with the mercy, not this kind of kindergarten kind of understanding, mercy or love, you have to love everything, no, no. It's not like that. Do you understand the secret? you understand the wisdom? And from the secret and the wisdom of everything that has happened, there is a way to Allah. There is a mercy that is there that Allah is saying, now, even in this most hardest way that I'm presenting to you, I'm opening 
a secret underground way for you to come completely directly to me. Well, people are looking from the outside. They're not looking to see what is under there. We look in the history of the Prophet ﷺ. After every difficulty that he has gone through, his station is rising higher, the Sahabi station rising higher, the Ummat's, uh, let's say, fortunes, uh, their fate, their situation is getting better. Even when from the outside it looks as if they lost, but they've done everything and they're following what Allah is wanting, and the wisdom of the Prophet is saying, no, it looks as if you lost, but you won. So you understand Allah's mercy. A little bit. Then what? How you can then continue in this way with a proudness? How you can under continue in this way with the arrogance? How you can continue in this way with the complaining and not putting yourself there. How you can continue in this way without putting your head down and say, I don't understand, but I put my head down. One day, if Allah wants me to understand, I will understand. How can you? So we don't want to be like that donkey having more and more and more knowledge and then it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. A donkey that carries a thousand books is still a donkey. If we are not getting rid of our donkey characteristics, we are still a donkey. That they cry only for two reasons, when they are hungry and when they want to get married. This is majority of people. This is us. The only times we are going to cry is when our selfish, egoistic desires, they are disturbed, they are foiled. How many we are going to see something bad that is happening to us and say, this is, there is some secret behind this, there is a mercy to this. Let me sit and watch. Let me look at myself, what I have done, correctly or not correctly. You understand that? Okay, I did as much as I can then Allah is not wanting me to continue with this. People asking us for prayers, and we always say, may the best open for you. We are not asking what you want to open. If you understand mercy, you'll become <coughs> merciful also. You're not going to be so quick to, yes, to judge other people. You're going to say, huh, what is the secret? Why is that? There's something that I must understand. Then that time, yes, your knowledge will start increasing. Your understanding of the vastness of people's hearts. Because nothing is bigger than the throne of Allah, no? And they say the Kalb is the throne of Allah. Then you start understanding the vastness of people's hearts. And that time your knowledge will start increasing. You're always looking there. Where is that? There's a secret there. What is that mercy that is there? Where is the knowledge that is there? You're not going to shut off, shut off, shut off. You become more and more insular. Uh, more and more closed off to other things. You're always discovering, and you want to discover. And there is no, even if you see it one million times, there's always something new to discover. How many times you've seen the rose? How many times you've seen the tulip in your life? You ever tried to calculate? How many times you look and you see? Maybe thousands, maybe millions of times. Do you ever get sick of looking at that? No, there's always something to discover. So you are going to be like that too, with people, good and bad. There's always something to discover. Not to show who you are. 
And more you're going to understand with that discovery, more you're like, Ya Rabbi, I don't know. So many things I don't know. I don't know anything. Don't release me from the leash of my master. That when he releases me, that is the day that is going to be a disaster for me. So no matter how difficult things are, you will get up, you understand. When things are easy, you don't get stuck there also with the happiness. Always try to look behind, try to look behind it. We are worlds to discover. We're going to leave this lowest world anyway. Then why are we stuck on this lower, lower world, lowest world, without starting to discover what those other worlds are? And no, I'm not meaning discovering, getting some secret dua, secret salawat, secret ism, secret name of Allah and recite, and then you start imagining, being illusion and delusion. No. It is enough. You try to discover the mercy of Allah. And at that time, because you're discovering, you are taking. And because you're taking, you will also give. In Islam, you don't just take. Whatever you take, you have to give. You start understanding you are just a connector. You're nothing. You're just connecting. You're a conduit. You become a wasila. You become a representative. So you're taking and you're giving. You're taking and you're giving. Then not too many things in this world is going to shake you. Even if it does one, two, three days, it passes. <coughs> then you must look back and you must see where I was stuck, why I was stuck. And you say, Ya Rabbi, Alhamdulillah. That is by your mercy again you pulled me out not by my experience, not by my worship. It's because of your mercy. So of course I'm saying, I'm not saying don't worship, you have to worship, we do everything. But Allah's mercy, it reaches to those who are merciful. There will be a uh, calmness about you. There will be a, um, a happiness. There will be a, a sakina about you. You can just be sitting, not saying anything. You're just smiling. Huh, Bilal? And they will sit to you. They just feel good. Their problems will just disappear. They start to look at things in a different way because so many times you're stuck because you feel as if you cannot see out of that hole that you're in. There is no window, there's nothing. But you sit with them and you just discover you're out. You can see something. But that's important. You understand? There's too much knowledge. Knowledge that does not benefit us in this world right now. The knowledge that benefits us most is knowledge about yourself because that will lead you to knowledge about your Lord. People are learning every other knowledge except for knowledge about themselves. And they're running away from the teachers of that knowledge. Ya Allah, keep us under the feet of our masters, Amen. of our Shaykh, inshallah not to run away. We're asking Allah not to let our ego to control us, Amen. not let our ego to fool us, Amen. to make us to be with people who give shukr, Amen. 
simple people. Mm -hmm. Simple people with simple faith. Mm -hmm. To protect us from this confusion of these dark <coughs> Ahir Zaman days. Amen. We're asking for more intelligence mm -hmm. and we're asking for more safety, inshallah. Mm -hmm. وَمِنْ اللَّهُ تَوْفِقَ الْفَاتِحَ السلام عليكم